Hi, I'm Tom Fletcher Sides. Uh, I'm a wedding photographer from the UK. So as well as being out here for the Photo Plus Expo, um, I also came out to give a talk at Apple's store in uh, Soho last night, uh, and I was talking about uh, running a photography business on a Mac. So it's a, it's a really tough topic to actually talk about uh, because you only get sort of an hour to an hour and a half time slot, so it's really hard to know what kind of thing to, to actually do in that kind of time, which is still going to be useful for people uh, and actually give them the benefit of coming along to a talk like that. So what I was really talking about was uh, workflow and and uh, managing a workflow uh, because when I set up my photography business I had a full-time job at the time so I set up a part-time wedding photography business and then grew that alongside a full-time job uh, to the point where I was able to give up that other job and concentrate on being a photographer. Um, when you're doing that sort of thing workflow management becomes vitally important uh, even more so when you're uh, a full-time photographer so when you've got all of these jobs stacking up it become really really hard to actually keep track of everything that you're doing so you need to actually make sure you've got everything really really locked down so you know exactly where you are with all of your jobs. Now funnily enough business management software does kind of come into uh, play a useful role in managing workflow and making sure you're keeping on top of everything uh, but only the, the talk I was giving last night uh, it was more about trying to give a few kind of useful tips to people to try and make sure they can keep on top of everything. So one of the uh, one of the, the key things I think is very important is making sure that everything's very consistent. So making sure that all of your jobs go through the same sort of series of steps so that you know exactly what state all of your jobs are in. So it's no good if you're in really busy in peak wedding season, for example, uh, coming back to uh, a job that you, you shot a couple of months ago and then not being sure, you know, what state is all this in? You know, you know, are my files sharpened? Has everything been cropped to the right aspect ratio? Uh, does retouching work need to be done to that? So I think it's really important to make sure that whatever workflow you decide to set up, everything goes through that same workflow. You make sure that everything is particularly consistent so that whenever you go back to jobs, uh, doing things like album designs, delivering files to clients, doing presentations, you know exactly where everything is. While the actual picture taking part of running a photography business is very creative, there are lots of repetitive tasks on the business side of things. Repetitive tasks are a bad thing. They're boring, so you've always got better things you could be doing instead. And if you're not concentrating, it's easy to make mistakes. Fulfilling client orders is one of those repetitive tasks, and I'm going to show you a way of automating one of the most boring parts of that process on your Mac. You've all come across Photoshop actions before, and I'm sure that most of you are using them every day to speed up your post-production. Those of you who are using Macs might not have come across one of the useful tools Apple provides you with though. It's called Automator, and its big advantage over using Photoshop actions is that you can call on other applications for help. So, for example, you can create an automated workflow that asks you for a folder of images, resizes them all to a set size, then burns those images onto a disk for you. A workflow like that will really save you time if you're regularly selling digital files to your clients. Let's fire up Automator and take a look at it. You'll find it in your Applications folder. By itself, Automator can't interact with Photoshop. However, you can download a plugin for it called Automator Actions for Photoshop from CompleteDigitalPhotography.com. The Automator Actions come in a basic free version and a more powerful version that you have to pay for. Everything I'm going to show you in this demo is in the free version. When you're building a workflow in Automator, it's really useful to plan out the stages you want to go through. For our disk burning workflow, we're going to ask for a folder of images, open those images in Photoshop, scale them to the right size, save them to a folder, then burn the images to a disk. Let's go through these stages and add them into our workflow. So in Automator here, I'm going to create a blank workflow. We'll start by asking for our folder of images. You can find that step in the Files and Folders section. Like so. Then we need to pick up the files from within that folder. Next, we need to tell Photoshop to open your files. The automated actions of Photoshop are in the Photo section. Now that we've got the images open in Photoshop, we need to scale them. We'll tell Photoshop to scale them so that the longer side is 12 inches long at 300 ppi. I'm going to assume that this is plenty big enough for our clients.
Finally, we need to tell Photoshop to render our images as JPEGs. We're going to tell it to save them into a certain folder. And to pass the saved files onto the next step in the workflow. That's resized our folder of images for us. You could have done everything we've seen so far with Photoshop Actions, so now for the clever bit. We're going to go into the Utilities section and add to the Burn a Disk step at the end of our workflow. This shows us the real power of Automator, which is a really simple way of bringing together the different applications on your Mac into a coherent workflow. Let's save our workflow so that we can use it again later. Now we can run our workflow on a folder of images that I've prepared so that you can see it in action. So there you go. That was a quick demonstration of how Automator can be used to help make one of the repetitive parts of running a photography business more efficient. If you buy the full version of the Automator Actions of Photoshop from completedigitalphotography.com, you'll have access to even more powerful tools within Photoshop, including running Photoshop Actions as part of your Automator workflow. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. I'm Tom Catcherside from Lightly Software, and if you'd like to find out more about our award-winning business software for professional photographers, you should visit our website at lightbluesoftware.com. If you'd like us to send you the automated workflow you've seen in this video, just get in touch with us via our contact page, and we'll email it over to you.